to the channel and you want to know everything about speakers, amplifiers, and 4K room theater setups, be sure to subscribe and keep watching. Now, today we're going to look at a very topic, uh, important topic, which is five best qualities of a bookshelf speaker in your Dolby Atmos uh, home theater setup. Now, uh, if you if you are not really conversant with bookshelf speakers, uh, they're actually the smaller versions of your tower speakers with the exception of the bass drivers and uh, so uh, and they are quite um, they are they're just um, anesthetically uh, pleasing to the eyes they are smaller in size and they they give you great response now uh, right now we're going to look at the five qualities of a bookshelf speaker number one uh, number one is transient sound imaging and tactile based response uh, basically uh, if you're getting uh, a, a bookshelf speaker you're just getting uh, something that is not going to sound boomy basically you're getting something that will image better give you a more much more clearer um higher frequency with uh a, a, with with a better better um like a better mid-range uh, when when playing loud uh, audio through it now it's not going to sound as bassy as you get from the power speakers uh, that which are the bigger brothers to the bookshelf but pairing a, a bookshelf speaker with a subwoofer you're going to get the best response the best output pound for pound and probably sound better than uh, most style speakers especially in a two channel setup so uh, if you're going out there to start out with a bookshelf I, I, I probably suggest you consider getting uh, something within a thousand dollars or a less than a thousand dollars they are quite more affordable than getting a, a tower speaker but you're gonna get powerful um, um, speaker presence powerful imaging powerful um, stereo separation and uh, better response than probably what you get in most stars these days now number two guys is a um, uh, smaller it's, it's, it's smaller in size than tower speakers yeah it's quite simple as you can see uh, bookshelves are smaller than they are quite smaller than um, um, uh, tower speakers so basically tower speakers um, don't give you that uh, small nature to their design you only have to place tower speakers probably next to your television it looks bulky maybe your wife your girlfriend may not like your tower speakers but for bookshelf 80% uh, of women that probably will be with you as either your spouse or your girlfriend will probably love you to have bookshelf speakers as opposed to getting a tower speaker now number three guys is that flexibility in your home theater uh, use um, usage so basically uh, if you if you uh, an avid uh, listener to movies and uh, music uh, you have the flexibility of placing your bookshelf speakers any place in the room so basically you can set it up at a corner you can set it up uh, on top of your television you can even use your bookshelf, bookshelf speakers as atmos uh, height channels bookshelf speakers are very versatile guys so basically if you're looking for flexibility and vers vers versatile um, speakers for your home theater uh, I think a bookshelf speaker is way better than a, a tower speaker in that regard. Number four, guys, is mar it mar it marries well uh, with any subwoofer of all driver sizes. So basically, uh, if you are looking for a bookshelf that will probably work uh, with every type of speaker, uh, sorry, guys, uh, subwoofer brand. Uh, I think most bookshelves will blend well with uh, any subwoofer. Uh, unlike some towers that kind of like sound more bassy than some subwoofers, or maybe they 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 overpower some subwoofers, especially the lower range subwoofers. You probably just better off running the towers at large when you you are crossing it over in your AV receiver. But bookshelves can blend very well, smoothly, well with virtually all subwoofer um, sizes uh, from every Every manufacturer out there guys and um, finally guys number five is bookshelf speakers are cheaper than tower speakers yeah that's final uh, the final tip you need to know about bookshelf speakers they are 
they are cheaper basically they are cheaper um, they're, they're cheaper but not really an ill properly designed system but they're, they're cheaper so basically they're, they're just giving you a smaller version of the power speaker that can work for you in your home for a very long time so basically a bookshelf speaker is uh, is good especially if you are trying to um, get the best um, setup uh, for your money uh, I think a bookshelf speaker will go a long way for you in the long run uh, if you're setting up an Atmos system, uh, a DTSX system, an Oro 3D system, uh, even even um, any 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 layout, even a regular 7.2 system, you're good to go running bookshelves as your front um, side surrounds and rear surrounds, you're good to go. So if this tip uh, really helped you new guys 